last weekend. Yeah, we had a tough one against Stanford. Um, we're on the same page offensively. Didn't uh, play to our potential offensively. I thought we played pretty decent defense. Uh, I think somebody told us we held Stanford to their lowest point total um, at their home court. Um, and 61 points given up against Stanford. We would have said that's a good result, but we just didn't uh, execute on the offensive end. And credit to Stanford, they um, played us to our tendencies. So we bounced back against Cal, um, had a little slow start there in the second quarter, but then were able to execute down the stretch and make the plays to get the win there. How do you, when you, I mean, after you play Stanford, how do you process the fact that you, you, know, you didn't really play it well at Stanford, and then Stanford loses by 40 to, to the team you're going to be playing? How do you, do you just flush that, or you, can you, how do you get that out of your mind that yeah. a team that you kind of struggled with just got lost by 40 to the team you're playing? Yeah, we looked at the result, and we were a little surprised. We expected it to be a little closer. Um, but. You know, um, Stanford played really well against us, and uh, we have, I haven't looked at the film yet, but I'm guessing Stanford did not play very well offensively against uh, Oregon. Um, so we'll take a look at what Oregon did well and try to uh, limit that uh, when we play them. Can you just talk about just playing on, you know, National Monday and being able to be here in Gill Coliseum for that home game. What does it mean for the program to be one of, I, I think it's the only game televised on national national TV that day, something like that. What is, what is that like to play on such a, a huge stage that you guys don't get the opportunity to usually play on until postseason? It's a privilege. It's a testament to what the seniors um, have done in years past and how this program has done over the years. Um, so it's cool to be able to continue that um, this game on Monday. But first comes Friday. Uh, we're looking forward to that game. And then getting to play on a big stage will be exciting as well. Defensively, you know, we, you know, we all know how, or how good Oregon is. Are you guys going to have to play your best defense in the season to win one or potentially both games this weekend? Yes, we will. They're very talented offensively, have so many weapons. Um, so we'll have to really have a great defensive execution game plan ready to go and be able to attack them offensively too and be able to try to score with them. You played against them four times now. What is it that makes them so good offensively? What is it that they're able to do to be able to put up so many points? Yeah. Um, they have a couple ball handlers who are able to create um, a lot of mismatches or um, um, they're able to manipulate the defense very well. Uh, so whether it's um, coming off the pick and roll and shooting it or coming off and hitting it to Ruthie or Ati, they have a whole bunch of weapons. So typically you can't really lay off of one of their people or not guard them as much um, because they have so many strengths all the way around. Um, so it really takes a team defense to be able to try to slow them down. You played against Sabrina for a couple of times. How good mm -hmm. is she at what she does in, in running that offense? Yeah, she's a very talented player. Um, is it even if she's not scoring the ball as much as she's capable of, she creates so much um, for their other players on their team, whether it's an assist or um, just getting everybody on the same page. So she's a huge competitor, and we're looking forward to the opportunity to play in their whole team. Can you talk about the complications in preparing for the same team twice in such a short amount of time? Yeah, uh, typically we play uh, one team on Friday and then a different team on Sunday. So uh, might be uh, it's kind of weird playing the same team back to back because so many other teams break up that rivalry game. Um, but prepare for them as well as you can on Friday, and then um, it's typically a, a similar game plan, but you, to make adjustments for whatever you didn't do as well or whatever you saw on film that you could adjust for the next game on on Sunday or well, in this case Monday now. Do you have any opinion on whether it's good or bad? To, would you would you prefer one way or the other, like break it up or play them back to back? Do you uh, care? Do you have an opinion on that? Um, I I'd probably prefer breaking it up, but it's what the schedule allows. And say at least or this week we at least get one extra day, so it's nice. Yeah.